We just heard you say again that you think inflation is going to be temporary. We've heard you say that it was going to be temporary since last spring. So how long do you guys think temporary is? Well, again, Peter, I think what we do is we rely on the assessments of the Federal Reserve and of outside economic analysts who give an assessment of how long it will last. The expectations and their assessment at this point continues to be that it will moderate by the end of the year. There's also no question that when a foreign dictator invades a foreign country and when that foreign dictator is the head of a country that is the third largest supplier of oil in the, in the world, that that is going to have an impact. And it is. And so to that point, inflation goes up today. The president's statement blames the Putin price hike. Are you guys just going to start blaming Putin for everything until the midterms? Well, we've seen the price of gas go up at least 75 cents since President Putin lined up troops on the border of Ukraine. And, and last month, the statement didn't mention the Putin price hike. It mentioned inflation because of the pandemic. Why is that? Well, Peter, last year, last two years, there was a pan global pandemic. Everyone who's a uh, global economist have all agreed that that has been the biggest contributor to date of inflation because of the impact on the supply chain. Obviously, global events impact the economy, the global economy, as well as global inflation. And the uh, price hikes as a result that have ex escalated over the course of time of President Putin's further invasion of uh, the impact on the global oil markets are, of course, having an impact. Uh, President Biden has hosted electric vehicle stakeholders here at the White House. Would he host oil and gas producers, the people who are the most affected by the Putin price hike? Well, the oil and gas, pr I have nothing to preview or predict for you in terms of him hosting uh, oil company executives. Is he open to that? I don't have anything planned on the schedule for that front, but I will tell you that uh, the president has been clear that uh, he believes they have uh, the tools they need, uh, 9,000 unused permits. They have the, uh, the capacity they need to go uh, get more oil here in the United States, and he'd encourage them to do that. And go just ahead. Just one yeah. more about electric vehicles. You guys are pushing electric vehicles today. This is a president who always talks about the power of our example. Mm -hmm. Does he own an electric vehicle? Presidents of the United States don't do a lot of driving. He's posted videos where he's revving the engine of his Corvette in Wilmington. He owns cars. And he also has driven electric vehicles as president, does as he, is to give a model to the rest of the country. Does he own one? I think the president's record on this is clear, Peter. Presidents of the United States, current, and when they are, they are no longer, typically are not doing a lot of driving.